Hello, I'm Atuba George and I'm so excited to be bringing God's Word to you today. Now we've stepped into a new week and I know God has great plans and He's not just having them in His thoughts, He is executing them. Praise God. That's the reason for all the angels we have all around us. That's the reason for everything you see, every the sun, the moon, everyone, everything you see on the face of the earth. It's so that God's will for your life will be fulfilled. Praise God. Now, remember the Lord says we should call forth our daily bread on a daily basis. Are you ready? Let's go. Say it with me. Say, Father, today I receive my daily bread it's coming to me now in jesus name amen praise god and it is so you know the lord was talking to me about this a few days ago and then he said the reason i asked you to begin to make this demand I said, sometimes when God gives you an instruction, you don't understand. Many times if God tells you, do A, you do A and you're expecting a result immediately. But you don't realize that what God actually does is he releases grace. Now, the Lord was talking to me a few days ago and he said, the reason I told you to begin to make this demand and also the reason he said we should start the launch our prayer meeting and be praying for um, for the same thing that our needs be met is this in the physical things are going to get really really difficult for a lot of people but you see like some people are already complaining but you see the lord is giving us an edge the lord is giving us the grace to lift us above the season that is going on around See, because he tells us in the book of Psalms as he sent his word. That's all God does. You're praying, oh God, oh God, he sends his word. And, and what, what did he send? Now he gave us an instruction, praise God. So that's why when we make this declaration, don't just listen. Open your mouth and declare it also. Praise God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Let's just bless the Lord. Father, we thank you. Today, Lord, you're opening our eyes to your truth. Burdens are being lifted right now and yokes are being destroyed because of your word. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for guiding us into all truth. Thank you. We bless you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. Now, just before we go into the broadcast, I would like to invite every one of you to our launch our prayer meeting. Now, for this week and next week, what well, the Lord has commanded that we pray for our nation. Now, not, not, not specifically, He said, pray for your nation, Nigeria. Praise God. So, we're going to be praying at, at 12 today and we're going to be praying for 45 minutes because that's lunch time so join us find a way to get involved with that prayer meeting we're trusting the spirit of god for utterance and then we're trusting god for a change we're trusting him for a miracle where our nation is concerned praise god so i'll see you at 12. now turn your bibles with me to john chapter 15. john chapter 15. now we've been talking about things concerning salvation things concerning salvation and then last week i was sharing with you how he saved us that we will bear fruit 
That's why he saved us, that we will bear fruit. So if you are born again, I explained to you last week how we bear fruit because we are the branch, we are his branch. Now the same spirit that is connecting us is the same spirit that is in the vine. And guess what? It is the same spirit that is in God. Praise God. It is one spirit. There is no junior Holy Spirit. And see, no, the Holy Spirit with God is the senior Holy Spirit. And then the one with us is the junior. No, there is no junior Holy Spirit. And the same spirit that makes God God is the same spirit that is in us. Now, let me tell you, you see, sometimes we don't, we don't, we don't give our attention to this truth. Think about it. Why should my life be without color? Why should my life be, why should I be stranded in life? Why? I have the Holy Spirit in me. He's living actively in me. He's not just docile or dormant there, you know. And when you need me, you tell me. No, he is, he is in me. He is my very essence of life. Now, the same Holy Spirit in me is the same Spirit that was at work in Jesus. Did you ever read that Jesus was ever stranded? Did you ever read that Jesus got to a point he really didn't know what to do? At least John telling us that, you know, he will ask them questions. John, John will say he already knew what to do, but just wanted to know what, what's in their own mind. He always knew what to do. Why? Because of the Holy Spirit. I'll tell you something about the Holy Spirit. He was before everything was created. He was there. See, read it in Proverbs chapter 8. He said before ever anything was, he was the actually the beauty you see in the world is his idea. Because he says, I was with him before he created anything, as when he was walking the earth, I was with him as a master craftsman. So the beauty, you see now, this is why your life should be beautiful. Stop complaining. See, listen, if you are complaining, it's not because God is, is, is not doing anything or God have not answered you. It's simply because you haven't seen it or you don't know it. Listen, when I talk about tithe, for example, you know, I keep hammering on this because it's very, very important. I, I want to use tithe to explain something to you and, and I pray you get it. Now, a true child of God believes and knows that God demands his tithe. Now, why would God demand his tithe? Not because God is hungry, not because God is looking for money. No, your tithe is a fellowship, is a partnership. Understand it. So, just like in the Garden of Eden, God says, look, hey, you can eat all the trees, of all the trees freely, but this one, you shall not eat it freely. Now, I know the translators put, you shall not eat it. No, that's not what God said. God actually said, you shall not eat it freely. Meaning, this one, you must eat by my direct instruction. That's just what God said. So he said, of every other tree, you can eat freely. But this one shall be by my command. Now, that is where the principle of Titan came from. Many people don't understand it. So, why would God create the whole garden and tell him not to eat of a tree? What was special about the tree? I've told you before, it's a normal tree. Because the Bible says it grew from the ground. And then when, 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 when Lucifer tempted Eve, she looked at it and like, it's good for food. See? So there was nothing mysterious about the tree. It was a normal tree. So, so how come when they ate it, their eyes were open? No, you see, their eyes was nothing opened about their eyes when they ate that fruit. Nothing opened. Do you want to know what happened? 
when they ate of that tree. You see, even Satan didn't know what was behind that tree. He didn't know. Don't think he knew. No, he didn't. But, you see, the fact that God gave special instruction concerning this tree, got Satan, got the devil to be curious. And then, like, there must be something. I want to know what it is. And then, how will he know? Until they eat it then. Then he will know. So he went to Eve and said, look, go and eat it. Forget all those things God said. God is hiding something from you. And then he went and she ate it, gave to her husband and he ate it. And he was waiting to see what would happen. Nothing happened. Because they ate it, it was a, it was a fruit, it was, it was edible. And then the next thing, he was the one that came again to them and said, hey, you are now naked. He told them, you are now naked. And they're like, yeah, we know we're, we're naked. Say, forget it, fools. He used a different interpretation for the word naked to them other than what they knew before so you see it was part of his deception so they knew because the bible said they the man was naked the man and his wife and they were not ashamed so they they knew they were naked and what do they know by being naked it means being plain being open there is nothing to hide as you see me this is who i am it has nothing to do with what they wear as in clothes. No. When the Bible says they were naked and they were not ashamed, they were plain, open, you know, see through me. That's who they were. Now, when Satan, when he ate that fruit, Satan now came and said, Ah, you are naked and you should be ashamed of it. Say, so what do you mean? Look, it means you are exposed. See? You are exposed. That's what Satan told them. Naked means exposed. And like, really? Oh, because you see, they were living before this time. They were living only by the word of God. So if God tells you something, that is what they take it to be. That is how they reason it. Now Satan comes and says, no, that is not how it is. He showed them a different picture. Now that's why when God showed up, they went to hide. Why? Because now they felt exposed. Because Satan told them they were exposed and they believed him. That's why when God says, Adam, where are you? What, what was the rest of it? We heard your voice and he that said, because we were naked. What did God say? God says, who told you naked? So God wasn't just saying, eh, how did you find out you are naked? No, no, no. He, you see, Adam used a word that God did not tell them. So when he says, we hid us, because we were naked. Now, this is English, so, so it, it can, you know, they can just bundle everything together. But I'm telling you the truth now. God says, who told you that word? Who gave you that meaning? You've started listening to someone else. Now, that was the problem. So, it's the same thing concerning the tithe. God tells us, look, of every money you get, everything you may freely eat, but 10% you should eat by my instruction. You don't spend it by yourself. You don't spend it the way you think. You spend it by my instruction. That's what it's supposed to be. But many of us don't do that. We, we take out the tithe, yes, but we don't wait for the instruction of God concerning it. We, we assume it should go to the church. We assume it should go, oh, the church is the house of God, so let me take it to the house of God. It looks wonderful, but hey, hey, it's not your money. The owner of the money is alive, he is active, he speaks. So we don't do things and assume that he, he will receive it and then he will bless us. 
How do we know he has received it? We, we, we feel if we, if we take it to the house of God, then he must have received it. Not necessarily. Now, our time is up right now, but you see, I'm going to continue from this place where I explain about tithe because there's a reason I brought it up. Praise God. <laughs> Thank you, Lord Jesus. I'll see you tomorrow. Hey, 12 o'clock, let's meet up. We're going to be meeting on Facebook and then on, on Mixel. Let's meet up and let's get things done for our nation. God bless you. Bye-bye.